Hey, Patrick, more than $3 billion from the federal stimulus COVID bill passed earlier this month. The governor has the power to spend that money, but Republicans have threatened to file suit challenging his authority. In front of cameras at a Milwaukee cafe. I'm going to veto Senate Bill 183. Governor Evers struck down a bill that would have allowed Republicans in the legislature the power to spend more than $3 billion in federal stimulus funding. Workers and business owners are still filled with worry. Families are still struggling to make ends meet. And this money belongs to them, to the people of Wisconsin, not Republican legislators. The governor instead laying out his spending plan, $600 million on small business grants, $500 million in pandemic response, $200 million on infrastructure, and $50 million on tourism. Republicans wanted oversight on that spending. The bill would have forced the governor to submit a spending plan, which the Republican-controlled Budget Committee could approve or deny. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss last week. Unfortunately, it seems like um, the, get the Democrats want to have a piggy bank where they can choose to give the money with no oversight, no transparency, no ability to judge whether or not it's the best decision until after the money's already out the door. Speaker Voss has threatened to sue the governor if he vetoed the bill. No word tonight if that plan is moving forward. Ben, any idea if Republicans will try to override the governor's veto? Not clear just yet, Patrick. I did reach out to Speaker Voss's office, did not hear back here tonight. What we do know is that Assembly Republicans do plan to lay out some of their priorities on how they would like to spend that money sometime tomorrow.